Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. A triangle is divided by eight parallel lines that are equally spaced from each other, as shown. Starting from the top, color each alternate region in blue. Then color the remaining regions in red. If the area of the blue region is equal to 145, what is the area of the red region? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will first review similar triangles, and then I will solve the problem. First, let's go over similar triangles. According to Euclid, similar triangles are to one another in the squared ratio of their corresponding sides. If we have two similar triangles whose corresponding sides are b and b times x, then the ratio of their areas will be equal to the square of x. So a2 over a1 is equal to x squared, or a2 is equal to a1 multiplied by x squared. This is a formula we all have learned in geometry, but where does it actually come from? Let's quickly prove it. We have these two triangles. Let's now construct the height of each triangle. Suppose this triangle has a height equal to h, which means this other triangle will have a height equal to h times x. Now a1 is equal to b times h over 2, and a2 is equal to bx multiplied by hx over 2. In the formula for a2, we can group the x terms, so we have bh multiplied by x squared. We can then rearrange this formula, and we have bh over 2 multiplied by x squared. But bh over 2 is exactly equal to a1, so we can substitute here, and thus we've proven that a2 is equal to a1 multiplied by x squared. So if the sides are in a ratio of x, their areas will be in a ratio of x squared. And thus we've proven this. Now let's solve the problem. Suppose the smallest triangle at the top has an area that's equal to a. What's the area of this red stripe? It will be equal to the area of this larger similar triangle minus the area of the small triangle. Suppose the small triangle has a height equal to h. Then the next triangle has a height that's equal to 2 times h. We know the area of the small triangle is equal to a. By the principle of similar triangles, this larger similar triangle will have an area that's in proportion to the side length ratio squared. So it will be a multiplied by 2 squared. Thus its area will be equal to a times 4, which is equal to 4a. Thus, the area of this red stripe is equal to 4a minus a, which is equal to 3a. Now, there's another way that you could see the area of the red stripe. The smallest triangle has an area equal to a, and we can fit exactly three of these in this red stripe. Thus, its area will be equal to 3a. We can then calculate the area of the next stripe in a similar fashion. We know that its area will be equal to this triangle minus the area of this triangle. We can use the principle of similar triangles to get that the larger triangle has an area equal to 9a, then the other triangle will have an area equal to 4a. So this area will be equal to 5a. Once again, we can also try and fit these small triangles inside of this stripe, and we'll get exactly five of these triangles. We can now continue the pattern to solve for the area of each stripe. The next stripe will have an area that's equal to 4 squared minus 3 squared, that's equal to 7 multiplied by a, so this will be equal to 7a. We could also calculate it by putting 7 of these small triangles in there. We now see a pattern. Each next stripe will have an area that's 2 more than the previous one. So this stripe will be equal to 9a. We also fit 9 triangles in there. Then it'll be equal to 11a. We then have it equal to 13a. Then it'll be equal to 15a and the final stripe will be equal to 17a. Let's now just focus on the blue stripes. We know that the total area will be equal to 145. 
The total area of these blue stripes will be equal to a plus 5a plus 9a plus 13a plus 17a, and that's equal to 45a. Thus we get a is equal to 145 over 45, which is equal to 29 over 9. From here, we can focus on the area of the red stripes. The total area will be 3a plus 7a plus 11a plus 15a, which is equal to exactly 36a. We substitute in for a, multiply it by 36, and we get this is equal to 116. Thus, the red stripes have a total area equal to 116. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.